guys welcome back to my channel i'm carly and i'm the owner of carly's creations and today we're working on a really fun technique and it is probably the easiest technique that i have done with tumblr so far so if you're a beginner this is a really good um technique for you to try and we're using alcohol inks and i don't know if this is the correct term but <laughs> i'm calling it alco alcohol ink pour and i've seen people all over tiktok do it and i thought oh my gosh that's so fun so i've done it in two different colors and I'm gonna show you in one of the colors what I did today. Um, at the end, I'll post a picture of both the colors just so you can kind of see the difference. Um, I did the same exact technique for both. They're just different colors. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I am using a, this is our cup right here, isn't it pretty? So this is the 25 ounce um, wine tumbler from Stainless Steel Depot. These ones come with lids, which I really love. Um, they're a really good size, but it's just, so pretty and so dainty it kind of reminds me of an easter egg which i thought was very appropriate for easter so um in the beginning of the video you'll see i had already prepped the tumbler and sprayed it and i did not put epoxy on it yet so when we are starting off with our tumbler it is just spray paint that has been dried we haven't epoxied yet so i hope you guys enjoy this and let's get crafting All right, so here is our tumbler. It's on the turner, like I said, prepped and sprayed without epoxy on it. And we're gonna use 91% alcohol. And these are some Tim Holtz colors that I will put down below for you. I'm gonna use two different shades of pink and a gold. And hoping that creates some really pretty colors here. So one is a little bit more purplish and one is a little bit more pinkish. We're gonna turn our turner on. And for this, you have to work fast. So keep that in mind going into it. You're going to get your bottle and you're going to drench your tumbler in the rubbing alcohol and make sure you get really good coverage that you don't have any dry spots all over here. You can see I have a drip pan um, down below to catch all the excess. And then once you have that, you are going to grab your colors and you're just going to go crazy and you're just going to throw that ink on just, I mean, literally throw it on. You can see I'm just kind of randomly putting it all up and down the cup, shaking it. We're gonna put a good amount of ink on here and look how pretty it already is. And so I'm just gonna go back and forth. You can add more rubbing alcohol if you see you know, parts that start to dry up or anything like that. Um, but you wanna work fast because if you've worked with inks before, you know that they do tend to dry fast. So once you get the amount that you want on, you're gonna grab your heat gun and kind of just move that ink around a little bit. Just kind of get it flowing here. And I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to add a little bit more gold and I'm just going to add colors here and there. Um, towards the end, I realized that there was a little bit more white than I had wanted on the cup. And so I'll show you how I fix that in the next clip here. But just kind of keep playing around with it. You, can, you literally can't mess these up. It's, it's so easy and so fun.
All right, so now that we got it covered, I'll show you a little bit up close view here. We're gonna let this spin for a few minutes and then we're gonna use the ink that's in our tray to do our next step here. Okay, so I got a cup and I poured the ink that was in the tray into the cup. And I'm gonna pour that on the bottom of my tumbler here to kind of take away some of that white. Like I said, it was a little bit too white for me down there. Um, and it turns out it also gives it a little bit of a cool ombre look coming up from the bottom. Um, I wasn't sure how this was gonna work, but it actually worked into my favor, so I'm glad that I did it. And then I'm just gonna spray some more on there. You could always add, you can do the whole process all over again with adding more um, of the rubbing alcohol and then more of the inks. Um, it's totally up to you, have fun with it, be creative. Um, so we're gonna let this dry. I do let it sit for at least six to eight hours and let that fully dry, um, preferably even overnight. Um, but I don't seal it, so I just wanna point that out that it's just, it's sitting for a long time, but it's not sealed. All right, so it's been about six hours of just letting this dry, and we're gonna put a very thin coat of epoxy on here. I have noticed with this style tumbler, if you put too much epoxy on at once, it does um, kind of finish uneven a little bit. I usually tend to have a little bit more at the top and the bottom because of the shape of the tumbler. So with these ones, I just, I really make it a point to do a very, very thin coat each. Um, and that's it. So we're gonna put two coats of epoxy on here. From there, you could put you know, font, image, name, anything like that. For this one, I'm leaving it blank because it is going on my website. So that way it's available if someone wants to add a name, they can. And that's it. I mean, it is seriously so easy and probably the quickest design that I have ever done. And it's so much fun, I wanna do it in every color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this was really fun short and sweet little tutorial. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter and a wonderful weekend and we'll see you on the next video.